Were you surprised to find uh, that it's estimated 77 million others in the world have what you have, this particular condition, multiple personality disorder? Surprised, yes. Horrified would be a better term. I was horrified and I was angry because if there were 77 million people with DID, that's 77 million who are not getting justice. And that means God alone knows how many abusers out there getting away with it. You should now think MPD, DID equals victim of crime and victim of crime as a very small child. So treat them as a victim of crime and stop treating them like they're crazy because we're not. We're telling the truth the only way we can. And sometimes I was treated as if I was a roaring fantasist. Ultimately, you legitimised MPD and what that means. You realise that? I do now. I didn't at the time. I had no clue that I was making history. I had no clue I was changing other people's lives. I thought, I'm going to stop Dad from ever doing this to somebody else. That was my goal. It never crossed my mind that I would legitimise MPD. I would make it clear to everybody that MPD equals victim of crime. I know some parts of this book will be as difficult for you to read as they were for me to write. In these moments, I'd like you to do what we did every time we finished a chapter. I want you to remember that I am safe and I am free. It's a challenge for anybody to pick up this book. Yes. But you think, well, you say it's got a happy ending. Oh, it's a horrible book. It's got horrible bits in it, but the joy that runs through it is magical. It's got the most wonderful ending. And even then, it's an ending of the book. It's not the ending of my life. It, we've still got joy ahead of us. And um, it was magical writing it. Would you have been the person you are today if you hadn't been through that trauma. We wanted to be a hairdresser. <laughs> Symphony loves hair. She wanted to be a hairdresser, but she would not have been a fighter. She would not, we would not have had the ability to stand up for what is right because we wouldn't necessarily have known what was wrong in order to fight for what is right. Fighting has been um, our reason for existence for a long time. Who we are now <laughs> You're gonna say it, aren't you? You really are gonna say it. <laughs> hmm is, to quote muscles, fucking phenomenal. There you are, you made me say it. I'll be eating carbolic for dinner. Um, who we are now is so much more than we ever thought we could be. We've become a leader in so many ways. We've become, we've had messages, you're my hero. I'm like, really? Oh, okay. What is a hero? Do? Why? We've had people take our story and learn from it, put up podcasts, 
talk about us, talk about our case. They've taken our fight, they've validated our fight, and they've said our fight was right. And then they've said, because we fought, they don't have to. There's at least one other person that we know of with DID who got justice because they were able to say, look, Jenny Haynes did this, and only six months ago. Please, I have the same condition. Can you get me justice? And their offender is in prison. And their offender is in prison because they could use my story to reactivate their own. And that is enormous. And it's wonderful and wondrous. And it makes our fight so worth it. We might not be the hairdresser, but we've made a change in people's lives that is just as significant as being someone who can make you look beautiful every day. We've been able to say to people, MPD is a wondrous thing. We've changed the narrative for therapists, for the, the police, for the courts, and for survivors themselves.